the strategy which I'm sharing with you today uh, is the same strategy which I tell to my agency Launchpad students and not only them, I use this exact thing. My entire sales team runs on this strategy uh, in my own agency. So I thought why not just go ahead and uh, share it with you guys as well. So the core essence of this uh, strategy is uh, keep we are not looking at immediate sales because uh, like uh, okay understand from this perspective so may say uh, like uh, sirf 8% log wo honge who are immediately ready to buy your service or hop on uh, your uh, retainers right baki log will uh, like or the potential remaining clients who came on a demo would take their time would uh, like uh, want more time to understand what you're offering basically they won't be immediately ready okay now does that mean ki they are no more your leads so in general or this is what i was also doing uh, in my early stages of building my agency which was ki once a client comes on demo and he or she tells me ki i'm not interested as of now or uh, I might need some time and even after four or five follow-ups, uh, there is no solid yes. What I would do is uh, place the lead uh, under a lost section that, okay, they are done and uh, now I should just forget about them. And in general, those uh, sales gurus out there would also tell you the same thing uh, after giving the demo, after proposing your thing, then have uh, three, four follow-ups and post that. Uh, what you should do is, if you don't respond, hai, move to next one. But I realized a thing, which is that if they came on a demo with you in the first place, kahin na kahin to they would be having that uh, need or they would be facing that problem or they would be resonating with your offer. Right? So, this means that if you don't, probably down the line, kabhi na kabhi they might... Uh, actually find your service very relevant and uh, like that would be the only solution. In fact, your service would be the only solution to their problem, right? And at that moment, we want to be there for them. So when I understood this and uh, what I did was, Mary leads jitni bhi lost me hoti thi. Uh, I pulled them out and... Uh, I started again treating them or I added them to down the line future uh, potential leads ke category. Now what I was doing, uh, like I call this as a compounding relationship. Now what is this basically, I'll tell you. Uh, let's say you go on a demo and uh, demo went okay. Client was like, okay, I understand you have a good offering. I like your service, whatever you're saying. Uh, but again, he puts up a very vague doubt question that I have to think about it. I And even after like you take 4-5 or follow-ups, uske baad bhi the client is not willing. He says not interested at the moment. So instead of you pushing that lead to lost or killing that lead forever, what I would do is or I was doing and till date now uh, like my sales team does that and moreover my like 300 plus of agencies to uh, launchpad students do that which is we put those lost leads in a campaign now obviously these people are technically b2b uh, like we are dealing now if you are an agency owner i'm guessing you are an agency owner or you are a coach or you are a consultant now a business may other hand they would be active on their emails right now what i tell these uh, like launchpad students and my sales team start an email campaign and in which what we are aimed at is basically every week we would be sharing with them something that we learned in that niche. So let's say for example to make it clear and better for you to understand let's say you are in the niche of uh, dentist. So aapke call pe dentist hai and uh, you gave him the pitch you showed him the entire demo deck post that he says, I'll take some time. I'll get back to you. And uh, after follow-ups, he says, Ki, nahi karna. it's okay. What my goal is now, I now have to build a relationship with you. And what and how can I do that? By constantly educating you, number one. 
on constantly building credibility subconsciously in your mind that okay akash is someone who understands dentist niche that every week he is sharing something or the other that is happening in that niche probably it could be a case study it could be something new that you learned that how dentist can get results and by the way stop fearing ki wo banda wo copy kar lega aur wo start uh, khud hi kar lega wo cheeze i know we all have that kind of mentality somewhere deep down and but trust me if you are the one who they learnt it from they would always give you that uh, first reference if they ever need your service so with that thing in mind you need to start again reaching out to them probably every week once a week if you are good in uh, and you don't have to be like good in writing emails agar usme kharab bhi ho what you can do is make a quick loom make a one minute loom and just put it out to all those emails because obviously you would be having their email ids of all the potential leads who came uh, on a demo with you right now what will happen basically you are future proofing your leads and i'm telling you this works like anything this works like anything uh till date i so initially i started my agency in healthcare but uh, like later i changed my niche so till date i get some healthcare uh, leads why because i was doing all this uh, compounding relationship strategy uh, with them with those healthcare uh, like uh, leads so once you start doing now uh, somewhere down the line probably in your eighth email probably in your seventh email the client will understand okay and uh, like just for your uh, like information uh, it doesn't have to be ki mujhe sirf email hi bhejna hai whatever feels comfortable you are connected with them on instagram dm instagram dm pe bhej do you are connected with them on whatsapp telegram whatever works for you do it so yeah and if you continuously do that now you are on top of their mind so there is something called as top of mind awareness whenever they have uh, that specific kind of problem and parallelly they are getting every week a nudge from your end who do you think they would be rushing back to if they have this problem let's say you promising them 10 leads per month or whatever your offer is and agar unka business kam ho gaya hai who do you think they'll rush back to you it would be you because you are on top of their mind every week they are getting a nudge they are getting a small bit size information from you so we have seen an immense uh, like uh, down the funnel leads getting collected for you iska effect immediately probably nahi dikhega it is for someone who is uh, planning ki i want to maintain or i want to have a evergreen pipeline of clients coming in uh like uh, potential leads coming to me so i'm sure like uh, this would work out for you because it is flawlessly working out for uh, launchpad students and again in my agency as well so let me know if you guys uh, like end up using this strategy and i'll see you in the next video cheers bye bye